Right, I've got this excellent new tool to show you today and do a bit of a review on and it's a right angled wrench, 3 8 and it's cordless, electric, 18 volt, lithium ion battery and it has a torque up to 60 newton meters. You can get two different sets. You can get this one here with the two battery, so you've got a spare battery, or you can just get it with the one battery. I always like to have a spare one. And the battery simply pulls out the back here, pushing these two tabs in. And to charge it, you have this adapter which comes with it. And this one simply plugs into the actual battery unit. When it's charging, this one lights up red when it's um, undercharged, and when it's fully charged, it turns green. So this one's fully charged, so simply push that one back in. It's got a nice um, locking system on the battery there, it's very positive. And it's not that type of plastic which is brittle, this is nice that you can actually bend it nicely in on the tabs to take the batteries out. It comes with this fitted heavy duty lanyard um, to stop you from dropping it in use and there's plenty of room in that one to actually put your hand and operate it still. There's a switch here which locks the um, power button or the lever there. So you push that one forward and then you can press this handle to operate the switch and start it up. There's an LED there to light the work up, it's only a small one. And then on the side here there's a series of LEDs, red, orange and green. And that's the status of the battery. At the moment it's fully charged with all lights showing. When the charge goes down the green one will go off first and then there will be red and orange. And then when it's red on its own, that's when you need to take the battery out to charge it. The forward and reverse is operated manually with this um, control here. And that's all nice and positive. The great thing about this um, driver is the fact that it is right angled and you can actually get into some very tight spots. I've actually got this one because I do a lot of fixture work on the lathe and I've got this here for an example where I can actually operate and um, take off lots of um, nuts up in a very short period of time and obviously do them up and it saves having to use a spanner obviously. So like I say, the drive is 3 8 um, I only have a um, quarter inch 13 millimeter socket at the moment. I have got some other sockets somewhere, but I can't find them at the moment. So I'm going to put this one on. This is an adapter to go down to quarter. And the great thing with all these sockets, you can actually get all the different um, adapters. So you can go 3 8 to half an inch if you want to and that makes it much more versatile. It doesn't come with any sockets at all, you have to use your own. And you can see there how quick it is to undo all those uh, bolts, nuts and bolts. And it's the same when you're putting them together. So I've put all the nuts on just one thread to show you how quick and easy it is to actually lock these up.
and that's the job done. So it's a brilliant time-saving tool. It must be excellent in the construction industry or if you're putting a lot of um, metalwork together like angle iron with uh, nuts and bolts or whatever. And I do find it excellent for this type of fixture work on the Myford ML7 and the Chinese mini lathe. It's a very good tool, very handy. Can be used around the home, used on the car. The actual plastic, like I said earlier, is um, a nice quality ABS. It's not brittle. It feels good, and the uh, has some rubber decal parts here, which has um, a nice type of grip put into it. It looks a little bit like um, the milling finishes they used to do on metal to make it look good and it's really nice to hold. It's quite heavy and weighs 960 grams. The no load speed is 230 rpm and all the head part here is made of solid steel. There's a circlip in the um, part here, so you can actually undo that circlip. And I would think you can pull this out to actually oil it or regrease the assembly inside. So that's very good. And it has some nice sized air vents for the motor. In all the while that I was using it then, it's only very slightly warm, uh, probably warmed up uh, by my hand rather than the actual motor. So I think it's excellent value for money, it's really well made, I'm really pleased with that and I think it's going to be put to many uses in my workshop.